Welcome back to the channel, guys. You're watching Josh Doyle Invest. First of all, before we get started, I just want to thank you guys so much, all my supporters that actually watch this video and smash that like button and have subscribed. All my supporters, guys, I really appreciate you. Um, the last vlog style video that I did had a great response, lots of comments, lots of likes. So I really appreciate that, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. What I am doing is I'm creating a mini vlog style series where I'm bringing you guys through like a day in the life of basically what I do um, of taking distressed properties and bringing them back to new and taking old single families and converting them into multifamilies. I am looking to get into the multifamily apartment building game. So follow along with that journey. That is the ultimate goal of mine. Um, today, what we are doing is we're picking up some material and we're doing some odds and ends around the house before drywall gets started. As you saw in my last video, guys, uh, drywall got delivered successfully to all floors. If you haven't seen it, go back and check out the last one because there were some bumps in the road on that one that I had to deal with. So uh, that was cool to show you guys, um, you know, just some minor uh you know issues that you deal with when you're taking on stuff like this basically every time i come here there's an issue that i have to deal with um that's just the nature of the business so drywall got delivered guys and it was supposed to start installation the next day now the installer actually uh canceled on me and he delayed it until friday so i'm at his mercy right now i can't really do too much um, I am going to do some odds and ends, but it's got not really too much to do with him as he starts upstairs and works his way down. So I'm going to work in the basement, do a couple things. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Um, it does hurt when uh, contractors delay because now this house is going to sit vacant for another week. And every week this house sits vacant costs me $500 minimum, right? That's just my holding costs. So um, that definitely hurts. And that's just insurance and uh, a mortgage payment, like, you know, a quarter of the month. There's also utilities and all that other stuff, opportunity costs that, you know, I'm not going to tally that up, but it's north of 500 bucks a, a week, which, you know, isn't going to break the bank, but every week or every day that you sit vacant kind of adds up. So it's always a race to the finish line. You want to get these projects done as fast as possible. Um, so enough of me talking guys, let me show you what I'm going to be, what, uh, what I'm going to be doing today. Okay. We are at Turkster Lumber. I need to pick up a couple things. One of those being 12 foot lengths of resilient channeling. Uh, we ran out actually, and all I have to transport it is this two door Honda Civic. So I just measured and I can fit like nine feet in here. We're going to have to get creative and see how we're going to get 12 footers in here and safely transport them about 20 minutes downtown hamilton let's see how it goes look at that who needs a pickup truck <laughs> made it okay so excuse the poor lighting here uh we just have temporary lighting in the basement but i wanted to show you guys what exactly i am here doing today uh we ran out of insulation so we had to buy one extra bag just got to fill up you know a couple bare spots in these joist cavities down here um we also had to spray foam around that uh ductwork there right the exhaust going out for the the washer dryer we're gonna have a stackable washer dryer here and once that's done, I have to put resilient channeling back up on the ceiling, right? So just like this, guys, here, this metal here is called resilient channeling. And what it is, is um, it suspends the ceiling off of these um, floor joists here. And the reason why it does that is it reduces uh, vibration, right? So sound transmission is a lot less here. Uh, so very good in between units. And then we put the Roxol safe and sound insulation up here. This stuff is super dense, kind of a pain in the ass to work with, but it works awesome. Uh, it's fire resistant, safe, you know, it's uh, sound resistant and water repellent. So that stuff is awesome, very expensive, but it does the job. And trust me, if you're converting a unit like this, this is something that you want to put in between the units uh, on common walls and on common floors, like in the ceilings like this. Uh, because sound is a major issue. And then number three is I'm going to be putting that same resilient channeling on this wall here because my framer kind of screwed up. He built this uh, the bathroom a little too wide 
and now there's too big of a gap behind the tub and the wall so i'm just going to strap this with a resilient i'll bump out the wall a little bit so that way when the drywaller comes and puts his drywall there um, it will line up perfect with the tub and then right down here we had to cut out the floor here to uh you know for some plumbing adjustments and we ran out of concrete as we were pouring so i got another bag of concrete today i'm going to mix it up pour it in there and let's just hope that the one bag I have is enough to fill that gap. as a close-up on the finish here man i'm pretty impressed for using a shim and a piece of a one by two that sucker is like a glass finish it looks better than the people that poured the floor huh. well you know what i just got to touch up this corner right here other than that we're looking groovy look at that that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed uh watching what i did today uh pouring that concrete a little bit of insulation the resilient channel if you guys have any questions about any of the things that i'm doing let me know leave it in the comment section below guys if you have any recommendations or suggestions or things you want to see or hear me talk about uh, also leave it in the comment section below guys uh like i said drywall is starting tomorrow so i'm super excited for that um, I will give you guys an update, of course, when the drywall starts, and I'll show you along that process. I got some other stuff happening as well, exterior work being done. I'm doing some exterior work. Uh, it's going to make this place just look amazing. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching.